Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I'm loving this new teacup. It has this little heart-shaped handle. It definitely goes with my brand. So anyways, please don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. We just got a big shipment in of different types of teas. We got more mesh tea balls. So you guys, make sure you guys go on there to check it out. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I wanna come on and talk about the whole Tamar Braxton situation. So if you guys don't know, Tamar has been involved in some, you know, online drama recently, like always, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta love Tay Tay for who she is. So back on September 2nd, Tamar went onto social media and she was blasting Ayanna Van Zandt, okay? She was going off on her. So what happened is we all know there's been all this drama with the Braxton family values, okay? Um, supposedly what was supposed to happen is that all of the sisters were supposed to stop taping. You know what I'm saying? They weren't supposed to work with production because production was not trying to pay them their worth. So they were all boycotting. Allegedly, everybody was in agreement, including Tracy, but then Tracy reneged and she went on shooting with production. Meanwhile, the other sisters were over here. So that's what the storyline for this whole season of Braxton Family Values has been. One of my sisters said that I was dead to them. Enough is enough. I agree. No one could have seen this coming. So no one is showing up. Evidently, something has gone on with uh, talent, so we're gonna shut down. It's been a bunch of drama. Right now, Tracy's doing like this fitness camp with like Phaedra and um, Natalie Nunn and all these other people. I think Lunell's on, yeah, Lunell's on there and a few other people, okay? So basically, her sisters aren't there. Tracy's now the focal point, her grandson, you know, her, her son and his uh, new wife and all that stuff, right? So they've been really pissed off at Tracy for basically reneging and going against the sisters. So Ayanla Van Zant decided to intervene. And so she went on to the Braxton family values to kind of help with the situation, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a snippet really quick. Go ahead and check this out. I hear you talking about problems with production and the network, but you chose this. I don't understand why that impacts your relationship with each other. All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. So after those snippets went viral, um, Tamar went onto social media and she basically went off on Ayanna Van Zandt and she was not here for it. She was talking, I don't know if this is her makeup artist or her stylist, but I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this conversation really quick. So her stylist was saying something to Tamar and this was her response. So he says, I told you that bitch was a fraud. I fucking told y'all. So then Tamar responds and she says, you did. Rhonda is the devil. Trust me. Shake my head. Trust your gut. So when those tweets went viral, people were really shocked. Like, damn, you know, why is Tamar coming for Ayanna Van Zandt? So now fast forward to today, she did an interview on the Wendy Williams show. And I can, you know, truly say I really loved it. One thing about Tamar Braxton is that, you know, she, yeah, she's involved in drama. She can be messy towards her sisters, but she's not scared to go on any platform. And I can respect that because a lot of people are scared to go on the Wendy Williams show. You know, we saw her, you know, on the Queens court dealing with, you know, Kaya and T.S. Madison, even after they drug her. Like, she does not take that type of stuff seriously. And that's why I can respect people like Tamar when they go on to platforms like that. And it seems like Wendy really likes her. She was crying and all types of shit, okay? So anyhow, the big bombshell went down today is that Wendy was asking her like, okay, what happened between you and Ms. Van Zandt? You know, why did you walk off the show? You called her Rhonda. And I did not even know that that was Ayanna Van Zandt's real name, honey. I thought that was her real name that she goes by on the show, but I guess her name is Rhonda, okay? So Tamar was putting all the damn tea out there. So anyhow, Wendy Williams was asking her about that, you know, why she got so upset. And Tamar basically dropped the bombshell and let the whole world know that she was molested by not one side of her family, but both sides of her family, and that it happened multiple times. I want you guys to go ahead and watch a snippet of this video. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Too ashamed to talk about. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, um, I, I have been molested, you know, by both sides of my family. 
And um, it's not nothing I ever talked about. And I never thought that I would sit around a table with Ayana, who's here to talk about, you know, me and my sisters and their problems and to bring that up and sex shame me basically in front of everybody. So that's why I got up and walked out. Oh, oh, that part. Back to Vince. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and I also posted on Instagram, and it's definitely sparked a really, really good discussion. Um, it was heavy. You know, I wasn't expecting to hear that from Tamar, but one thing that did bother me is that when they were just talking about regular gossip, Wendy was getting all teary-eyed and saying that Tamar was like her friend in her head, and, you know, she was so down for that, but then when Tamar got real and talked about the molestation, it's like Wendy got super uncomfortable and basically was like, okay, well, let's talk about Vince. And I'm like, no, Wendy, that's not what you do. You don't transition from her dropping something that heavy, that personal, things that so many women like myself and others can relate to. You don't go from that heavy ass topic to let's talk about your ex-husband. Let's talk about your mama. Like, come on, Wendy, I'm gonna need you to transition a little bit better, okay? A little bit more smoother. She should have really, you know, got some more out of her, not saying that she's gonna call out who molested her, but really talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I really wanna know more about what makes Tamar tick. Because a lot of times we look at her as, you know, she's a younger sister, she's a brat, she's spoiled, you know, she's mean, she's, you know, conniving. But, you know, there might be some real underlying issues as to why she behaves the way she behaves on television. And she was being molested for many years by both sides of her family. Now it kind of makes sense. You know, the whole situation is sad. And I'm just, I feel really bad for Tamar. That's a horrible secret to hold on to. And, um, you know, from what they're saying, that she's only told two other people. One is her new boyfriend, this Nigerian man that she's dating. And the other is, I don't know if it's one of her sisters or a really close friend, but she's only said this to two people. So she and that friend have definitely been holding on to the secret for a long time. So now Tamar just took to Instagram and she posted the following. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Tamar Braxton says, Today Wendy asked me what happened at my sister's meeting and why did I walk out? Since someone there decided that they would ask me about something so private, so embarrassing, so secretive in front of everyone that was there, I felt like my life was flashing before my eyes and I immediately started to cry. Not because someone decided to allow someone else to tell my secret, not because I was asked if it was true in front of hundreds of strangers, but because once again, my right to choose was taken from me all over again. I decided to tell Wendy and the world my secret myself that I have been a victim of abuse not once, not twice, but multiple times by multiple family members. I've never told anyone other than two people in my life, and they both have held this close to them. One being the man that I'm with now every single day, he tells me I'm so beautiful and that my scars make me even more attractive. I felt that because this has happened to me recently, that something had to be done about people who did know and tried to make people embarrassed, and ashamed about something that has happened to them. I never ever again want anyone to feel so little and so small or even ashamed about something they had no control over. I wanted to create a space where you can tell your own story without anyone commenting or making you feel ashamed ever again. Go to and tell your story and empower yourself starting today. I wanted you to know that no matter how many scars you have, you are the prettiest. I love you all so much. No need to be ashamed .com. So that's a new website that Tamar Braxton has started to help victims come out and tell their story, which I think is a wonderful thing. You know, sexual abuse, molestation, rape, those are things that can just take an entire toll on your psyche, on your being. And those are things that should not be handled with just carelessness. And that was one of the conversations we were having about Ayanna Van Zant. Because a lot of people say, like, you know, she hasn't really fixed anybody's lives. She's, you know, exploiting people. And my thing is, yes, this is a scripted television show. You know, she's not really fixing people's lives. She's just putting the information out there. She's giving them the tools. But I feel like there needs to be a fine line. Because if you're not a psychiatrist, if you're not a counselor, if you have not gone to school to be able to, you know, to be able to help people who are dealing with, like, mental issues, you know, sexual abuse issues, then you shouldn't play around with that. Has she gone to school or had a degree in some type of sexual counseling and, you know, uh, psychology and stuff like that? 
She would have known not to blast Tamar's secret like that in front of a room full of producers and crew and camera guys because, you know, you guys may only see her and her sisters on camera, but there's hundreds of people behind the scene making the show what it is. And that wasn't everybody's business. That was not Miss Van Zandt's place to tell Tamar Braxton's secret. You know, so that entire situation is really sad. Now I understand why she was so upset. Now I understand why she called her Rhonda and she basically went off on So I definitely get it. I definitely get the hurt. And I also feel like Wendy Williams should have did a better job of talking and, and going more into depth on what Tamar just spilled, okay? She just spilled some piping hot tea. She dropped the bomb. And for Wendy to drop the ball and just say, okay, uh, yeah, let's talk about Vince. Like, girl, really? Come on, Wendy. I'm gonna need you to do damn better than that, okay? Come on, sis. You've been in the game so many years. You don't just fly by when somebody's talking about something personal and deep like that. You delve even deeper and, you know, and try and get them to talk and, and get it off their chest. And you just totally just dismissed what she said. And you went on to the next hot gossip. So I was not feeling that at all. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Tamar Braxton coming out and telling her secret to Ayana Van Zandt. Only for Ayana Van Zandt to basically blast it, you know, to everybody there that day. And then how do you feel about how she told Wendy Williams about it? And Wendy Williams basically just, you know, dismissed her and kept right on going with the other set of questions. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Tamar Braxton. All right. Deuces. <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.